Hey guys, Clumsy here, and welcome back to Bus Simulator 18. In the previous episode, we explored the new update, update number 2. Official update, which fixes a couple of bugs and uh, improves the performance overall. And we also bought a Bendy bus. We finished that particular objective last episode, so now let's move on to the next one. This looks like uh, something that is more encompassing. Lots of different zones, lots of different requirements, so let's get to it. Starting a new route. <clears throat> Beginning in the main station. Actually, where are we going? So from the main station, going to the agricultural zone, going to the industry zone and Port Amber. Okay, so it's a bit similar. It's a bit similar to our other routes, but this time we go all the way f to Port Amber to the end. So in main station, we just need one stop. I guess I could go... Hmm, let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Because I was thinking if I could go through here. Because you know that objective we had, all bus stops need to be level 3. I was wondering if I could maybe start here. Go there. Like that. Yes. And then I can skip these. Like maybe just go through there. Skip. Let, let's see. Let's let's pass through each one. Uh, maximum 10 stops. Okay, let's let's see. And then we have to pass through the agricultural zone. Basically, I'm trying to hit two birds with one stone. Something like that. Let's go there. There. That's seven already. That's eight. Okay, we need at least two stops in the industry zone. And uh, where should we go? Let's try going here. 9. Yeah, that's too much. We have to reduce the number of stops we have. And then let's say... Harbor Pier 3. We go through there and loop around like so. Does that look okay? Yeah, I think that's okay. We just need to reduce by one stop. So if we want to remove one stop, we can remove one of these, I guess. These are not really required. We can remove uh, Fisher's Grounds because that's higher level, that's level 7. Workers' Alley is only level 6. So Fisher's Grounds we remove. Now we have 10 stops, yes. And we have covered all the requirements, I believe. I hope, I hope we got that right. I hope so. This is the harbor, right? Yeah, this is the industrial, industry zone, this one. Should be okay. Right. Save that. Let's drive it. I did unassign one driver already, so we have one spare guy here. Well, lady. And then for ourselves, let's go on a round trip again, not quick start. But this time I want a different bus. Last time we went with a Bendy bus, Itaro G. This time, I think we're going back to a the Urbino 12, the Solaris Urbino. It's been a while since I drove this modded bus. And it's the only modded bus out there currently, I think. So let's go with that. Bit of a variation. Good. Let's see. With the CG skin still, the clumsy bus skin, thanks to uh, Cheeseport. Can see the cheese port travel back there. And let me turn off the music. There you go. Is it still that you can go through it? Yeah, it's still a bit. Uh, that part has not been fixed, so it's a fake door. <laughs> but that's fine. Everything else looks legit. Even has that uh, ticket punching machine, which uh, people use in OMSI at least. I don't think they use it here though. That's unlocked, that's good. Let's get to it. Whoa, here we go again. <laughs> that always happens when you enter. And it looks like 
my settings are not working. Hmm, interesting. If I open the software, Logitech software. Okay, that's fixed. Good. I thought I had to restart the game. Beautiful. Right, let's close that door. I love those lights. I almost forgot about them. Let's open it up. Ah, I love that clanking sound. Beautiful. Is there a window we can open? Just a bit for some fresh air. Yes. Open the lights. Oh yeah, I remember this is the guy with the uh, pretty powerful lights. Let's just keep it off if possible. Cockpit, don't really need that. We do need the passenger lights though, I believe. That one and that one. Perfect. Because the people will complain if that is kept off. Let me turn on the speed limiter as well. Not sure if it's uh, baked here, but if I press Z, should be on now, I think. Maybe it just doesn't show. Right, I think we're good there. Parking brake is that one. Is it? It seems so. Go to drive and off we go. Actually, I'm not so fond of the cash register light. It should be automatic, isn't it? Shouldn't it? Like when the door is open, that's the only time it should open as well. And when you're driving, it should be off like that. You can do it manually, but it's a bit of a hassle. Zero. Maybe if I remember, I'll uh, manually take it off. Good. Right, we're good. Thank you. Right. Let's get going. Oh yeah, I forgot about this guy. The, the mirrors on the right. Not very visible. So I can't use it so much to gauge myself. Right, where are we going? Can I go through the main road? Kind of like going through the main road. This bus is a bit flickery. It's in it. Like if you look at the dashboard, you can see the numbers like flicking over. Not really sure why that is. It must be something with the, the rendering, the texture, the material or something. If you zoom in, it's no problem. But I guess it's the anti-aliasing or something like that. Okay, it looks like the speed limiter is working because I am... My foot is flat to the floor. And yeah, I'm sticking to 50 as you can see there. Okay, maybe now we... That is the wrong button, my bad. Also, you guys told me a trick on how to catch the fair dodgers. You might try that later. You might try that later. Something which you go by going to the menu like this and seeing if there are fair dodgers in the, the line item on the lower right part of the screen. Let's see if that theory holds and if I understood your tip correctly. Till then, let's enjoy the view. It's the first time we'll be uh, going to this to these bus stops. They've never been touched. They've never been stopped on for them. But yeah, that's the that's the goal to make each bus stop at least level three. It has to be driven like so. Why do I always hit that? Where is my parking brake? That's the one. Okay, good. I don't think that's the true parking brake. I think that's the automatic door button. This one. In OMSI. At least the icon. Has, that's how it looks like. And the parking brake should be somewhere on the left, I believe. Not sure. Maybe it's a different thing for this bus. But normally, that's how it is. Also, I've been getting a few screenshots from Jay and the others. Um, even though the update was very smooth for us, it is not 
that's the case for everybody especially Jay mentioned if you start going into the city to, to the old town where you have a lot more cars a lot more passengers it can get pretty buggy and when you have a high population if the, tra the traffic you set is in high because for myself I believe this is medium now let me just double check one sec okay Remember I set the cars to medium. Oh no, it's still high. Okay. Okay, maybe it reset as well when the with the update. Okay, so maybe we will encounter it once we get into the old town. Because he's been sharing a lot of screenshots where the passengers are just clipping into each other. You know, weird stuff happening. And some of the bugs haven't been fixed totally. We haven't encountered it yet, but he mentioned it might just be because we are in the beginning phases, so to speak. We're not yet at the heaviest parts of the, the game, the most populated parts. This is a very nice area. I like this. Looks a bit uh, rural. Not as busy as the city center. Okay, this is us. Good. That's the one. Perfect stop in position. That's more like it. Anyone buying? Yes. E A T. Thank you. Let's take a photo along the way. But we're not yet rushing. Yeah. Would be nice although this fire hydrant is a bit on the way but maybe we can take a photo like that that is not too bad thank you let's get back to it let me see so if i go here look at that there's a there's one fair dodger uh number of passengers who did not pay their ticket so you guys told me that's actually a hint that there is a fair dodger on board so let's test that theory. There we go. There we go. That's exactly what we were talking about. Fair Dodger, fine. There you go. So that means we caught him and there are no more Fair Dodgers. Beautiful. That's a perfect tip. Thank you guys. That requires me to go back into the main menu at all times. And I forgot to open the car ticketing, the ticketing lights, but that's fine. But yes, that's a very good tip. Thank you. It's amazing. So now we should not be scared of fair dodgers anymore. We have the main menu on our side. Man, isn't that a beautiful scene? The mountain overlooking the city's skyline, so to speak. I love that view. Um, guys? Okay, this car is taking its time. There we go. That's how we roar. Love that engine purr. Right. Someone just took the bus and is stopping on the next next one. Just one bus stop away. Well, no judging. No judging. I also do that sometimes in real life. <laughs> when it's super hot outside especially. Like, oh, I want some air conditioning. I'd happily pay the bus fare. Good. Yes, good. Isn't this the lady from the tutorial? Good. The regular three. Thank you for giving the exact change. 40. And lady. Hmm. By the way, I saw an update. Just listening to Pavarotti there. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> opera, opera music for the win. Let's go. Just one bus stop away and you fell asleep. You must be pretty tired. 
So I saw an update. I saw an update in the news page for Bus Simulator 18. Apparently, there is an up a new update coming in, a free update. I'm not sure what is involved, what is included in that one. The only thing they mentioned was that they would be adding a. Uh, they would be adding a uh, license generator thingy. So you can uh, have different license plates. License plate generator thingy, rather. So you can have different license plates for your buses. I'm uh, not so excited about that, to be honest. I mean, I guess it might be a big thing for bus enthusiasts. For me personally, though, I don't really care that much. I don't really care that much. Surely, surely, Granny. You good? Okay. Yeah. So I'm not so sure why they decided to go with that update, like having uh, license plates. Right now, I guess if we look outside. We do have license plates, Deutschland. It's I, I guess those plates are like randomly generated letters or something, maybe, or maybe that's fixed. But they're adding something where you can specify the letters. But I don't know personally. Not so sure how big of an effect that is. Is it go? Let's go. Really? Where? Grunwald? Man, this is the train station. So yes, I, I surely hope that they are including a couple of other updates to that patch they're planning on. Otherwise, it might be a bit of a doozy. But maybe I'm not seeing something. Maybe license plates are a big thing and maybe I just don't appreciate it. If that's the case, let me know in the comments, right? Or if you also don't like it, let me know as well. Let me know if you are excited for that license plate generator feature. Or if it's the same thing to you. For me personally, it doesn't affect me. I mean, one, it's outside. So you only see it like, I don't know. It's outside and it's quite small, so you don't really see it a lot. You barely see it actually. So, adding a feature specifically for that is not the most exciting update in my box. Where's my mouse? There we go. Thank you. Good. Let's have a look. Any fair dodgers? Nope. No one. Good to know. I think they got scared because I have a technique now on how to catch them. That is an amazing tip. It's a bit cheaty, I would guess. No, not really cheaty. It's just not too realistic. Because you can see from a paper somewhere. You can see from a, your screen somewhere if there's someone who dodged their fares. Like, we can say that this thing, this main menu thing, is like an app in our phone or maybe a dashboard in the tablet there in the iPad. We can say that's the case. That might work. <clears throat> but yeah, it's. Uh, It's not too realistic, but it's very effective, so I'm I'm all good with that. No complaints there. Okay, this bus stop we skip. We mentioned that we will not be stopping here because uh, we are out of uh, bus stops. We are uh, at the limit. So yeah, we're skipping that one. And then we stay here on the left because... If I remember correctly, that right lane is turning right. Still 50 here. So 
So I, I mean, want to test something. All right, so we, we passed the city limits. And now, we, ah, that's amazing. Okay, so the speed limits updated itself. So earlier, my foot was down to the floor. And uh, I was only able to go to 50 because of the speed limiter. But once we went past the limits, I didn't leave my foot. Uh, my foot was just 100% on the pedal. But uh, it updated and went to 70 on its own. That's good. Okay. The bad thing is the opposite thing doesn't seem to happen. Like if it's a 70 and it becomes a 50, it doesn't seem like it updates on its own. That's the watch out you guys gave me before. Am I eating too much space? I don't think so. Maybe I'm turning just right. Goody. Really like how this bus looks. Gives me some OMSI feels. I am kind of missing OMSI, to be honest. There's something, uh, I don't know, there's something unique in the immersion that OMSI provides. Like, no matter how beautiful the graphics are here, and the animations, the realism, I don't know. There's just something super immersive with OMSI that this game cannot replicate yet. I can't quite explain it. But that doesn't mean there is anything wrong with this game. There's, that just means OMSI still has its own appeal. I think in terms of realism of the bus, OMSI still can do that a lot more. And it's been longer. It's been out for how many years? I don't know. More than 10 years? Not sure. And the modding community has grown so much in OMSI. So many buses, so many modded buses. Like you would normally just play with modded buses all throughout. You would rarely go with the default buses. Um, guys? Crossing pedestrians, crossing cars. We're going to stay here for a while, I think. Okay, let's. Uh, Okay, and as I say that, we move. Okay. That's even better. That's what happens when you are in a yield street. But, yeah, there you go. Car by car. It's, it's moving though. It's moving a bit slowly, but it's moving. So that's fine. Our turn, thank you. Yeah, the AI is very giving in this game. That's my star. Hey, bro. Nice to see some of our buses on the road. Makes you believe that you're uh, doing a public service to the folks and earning money at the same time. My pleasure. Fair dodgers, beautiful. On to the industrial area. Ah, that's my stop. Ah, this one I don't really like. I don't think this is realistic. Stopping the bus outside the bus stop. I don't think that should ever happen. Well, I don't know, maybe in an emergency, really. That can work. But it didn't seem like an emergency, it just seemed like he forgot something. Or he missed a bus stop or something. Thank you. I try to steer clear from all these potholes, but I can never memorize them, even if I've been through these roads 
quite a number of times already. Maybe we just uh, not go full speed. Let's see. Still done with entering city limits. So yeah, OMSI has a uh, an advantage, a huge advantage, given that it's years ahead and the modding community has grown so much, has done so much for the game. Like imagine OMSI without mods, with just the base map, the base game, and even, yeah, you could say including the DLCs and stuff. It's basically a modded community, even the paid stuff are basically paid mods, paid official mods. So yeah, hopefully given the given more time, this game would mature even more, fix its bugs, add a lot of content, a lot of bosses and maps. That would be nice, adding different maps and different bosses and improving the immersion and stuff. Because the the engine seems to be compatible. Like you can click all those buttons. It's just that the buttons themselves are not too many compared to how real buses have it so yeah i think it can be improved lots of very inconsiderate people today where are you my bad i'll turn it down surely that lady's not listening to pavarotti though different taste It's a waiting game. This is why I set the traffic to medium. And we had a bit of discussion here on the Discord. Like uh, Jay wanted Jay wanted to keep the high population of cars and I wanted to set it to medium personally. Because I said in real life. So I stayed in Manila. Uh, majority of my life so far and uh, I've been stuck in traffic in real life for much more hours than I would have liked so getting stuck in real life and, and then getting stuck in traffic in the simulation maybe not the best thing ever I think I've had enough traffic To last a lifetime in real life that I don't want to replicate it also in a game like this even if it is a driving game just a little bit of traffic is fine a few cars but spending minutes in a single intersection maybe not the best deal currently though high pop high high amount of cars isn't hurting us so much right it's pretty realistic it's pretty populated it's pretty dense but things are moving so we'll keep it as is but yeah, when things get hairy, maybe in Old Town, when uh, things get hairy, when bugs start appearing, maybe I'll tone down the number of cars so we can maybe get back some semblance of normalcy or something like that. Oh, yeah, there's a lot of people in here. I'm not sure if I missed any fair dodgers. I don't remember if I checked. I think I did. Anyone else? These guys are waiting for a different bus. Good. Let's see. Fair dodgers. Still nothing. Good. Is that right? One sec. Let me double check. Yes. Okay. Awesome. But yeah, that's that's an amazing tip because it, it always seemed unfair to me with that fair dodger thing that you had to go down your seat and check 
each and every bus stop, check each and every passenger if they have their tickets with them. That doesn't happen in real life. Bus drivers won't spend that much time just checking. They would just ignore those. Uh, if they catch them, then they would maybe shout at them. But if they they uh, miss them, then they just miss them. I mean, even here in SG, drivers aren't too strict. Well, it depends. If it's a lady driver, they tend to be more strict with these things. If it's a guy, they tend, they tend to be more lenient. Normally, normally. Of course, there are exceptions, but from what I've observed, the lady drivers are stricter when it comes to tapping your card, making sure that you have a ticket, things like that. Sometimes when it's rush hour here, you know, bus filled with people and everything and uh, some people forget to tap their cards so what happens there is here in SG at least when you enter you tap your card when you exit you tap your card and when you exit that's when the fee gets deducted from your uh, balance but if you forgot to tap in when you entered but you tapped out so your card doesn't really recognize that you uh, entered the bus at all because you didn't tap in so you tap out without tapping in that will produce an error that will create a noise like an alarm noise <laughs> telling everybody that you have some you did something invalid did something wrong maybe you don't have enough funds or maybe yeah you didn't tap in and usually how you would do that is you would go to the front tap in tap out and basically like pay the full fare or something like this lots of crossing passengers uh, pedestrians today okay let's go but yes during rush hour when people like that when people forgot to top their cards we Usually, the, the drivers just ignore them. Usually, the drivers would just let them go, even if they trigger that alarm. Because if they, like, fumble and try to catch or talk to the passenger who missed something, it would just take more time. Okay, still good. So they'd rather just, okay, just get out so I can continue. Otherwise, they would be late and everything, it would cascade. So it's not that big a deal. But yeah, if there are people who do that deliberately, then that's a different topic. Slow down. There's a pothole. There you go. That's the one. Let go to the last episode. See, lots of crossing pedestrians. Have to be very careful in these streets. Very busy. And yes, this is a round trip tour, so we are only half done. You can't get rid of me that easily. That's the one. I wish more people, more modders would come in and uh, get this game maybe when it goes on sale more people will play it because it's, it's a bit expensive in its full price so maybe lots of people are holding off on it but when the next sale comes we should get more modders in more interested modders and uh, hopefully some of them would port over some of the buses from home because i think this one if you guys i think you guys told me this, this as well that the Solaris Urbino, the Urbino actually came from OMSI, that's why it looks very much like an OMSI setup. It was just modified retrofitted to have like a ticketing machine for uh, this game and the GPS for this game, things like that. Hey, Let's have a look. Long time no see. Uh -huh. How was your vacation in Sunny Springs? We have one fair dodger, guys. Who is the lucky guy? Oh, <laughs> you think? 
I learned my lesson now. Two fair daughters. Beautiful. And you're right behind me and you think you could escape me, huh? Well, that doesn't happen. There we go. I'm afraid I'm getting sick. I learned my lesson now. pick the round tour now the round trip mode because it really earns much more money and when you get drivers in you want to earn as much as you can so that your drivers in turn would earn that same proportionate amount and it's a different experience each time you go through the same bus stop the opposite bus stop you go through the opposite uh, way it's a different experience and yeah that's why we enjoy these these bus rides even if you're driving the same route more or less it's never the same thing it's always a different feeling a different experience thanks to the randomness of the passengers the weird stuff that people do that's what <laughs> that's what makes being a city bus driver so exciting like if you were imagine uh, hauling something like uh, if you're a truck driver hauling freight hauling cargo on the same path on the same route that can get pretty repetitive it can be pretty relaxing but a bit repetitive but with passengers There's always a bit of wild card involved. Checking. Very good. Okay. What now, Bronk House? Who's going to go next? Hello? Yeah, the drivers in this city are really very polite drivers. No one is in a hurry. Everyone gives way. That's fine with me. And yeah, actually, they improved the AI in that part. If you remember before, during the original version, the initial version, the cars who were turning right, they never gave way. You just have to like squeeze yourself in until they're right in front of them, and that's the only time they'll stop. But now, even if they're turning right, they actually give way to you. So you always have right of way, something like that. Like, look at this. They stop for me. Although, it's just this right because we do have right of way on this street. But yeah, that's nice. It's very convenient. Is this the one? No, not this one. Ooh, yeah, the bus there. The bendy bus is in this track. Nice. Yeah, I like that. I kind of prefer it. It's not too realistic that the, the cars are too polite. <laughs> not realistic of real people. But wouldn't it be nice if people behaved like that in an ideal world somewhat? seconds to spare nice off you go guys off you go Good. Quick check. No fair dodgers. There we go. What the heck is 
that guy mumbling about? <laughs> Is this our turn? I think so. Is this the one? No, this is not the one. Almost missed it. Yeah, because the text on the GPS is a bit large. It covers the actual road. And this is actually nice, look at this. So there's a bit of traffic in front. But this van, this brown van, isn't squeezing in there. Is actually leaving the intersection open. Very smart. Very proper driving. Unlike me, if I were to drive this, I would just go and go straight in there. Can I squeeze in? No, it's still, still too uh, populated in there. I like that. So the AI is not actually bad. I don't know. Right now, I am pretty much liking it, but yeah, I'll probably regret that later on, once we get to the really populated areas. But yeah, with this, what we're seeing like this, this is actually pretty cool. And look at that, that guy actually squeezed in and uh, cut our line, so I'm going to squeeze in as well, before anyone else tries to squeeze in and get in front of us. And uh, we do have space now, so that's just good. Yeah, perfect. Perfect timing. What I would like to change, some, some, some minor details, is this one. When you go to third person, like that, and when you go back to first person, it kind of zooms in like that. I hate that. Because it feels like you're going through the walls and stuff. I would rather it just immediately changes view with you in here, and that it doesn't move the camera anymore it just snaps into place i think that's going to be much better less uh, confusing less dizzy makes you less dizzy it looks like a bit busy over there this is the consequence of having high highly populated cities and not being in the right of way But it's fine, we can do some kind of people watching, AI watching, and observe what their behavior is and when they're in the different planes. We try turning like this. It's actually pretty cool, huh? Are we turning here? No, not yet. I see the pedestrian, don't worry. I see him. <coughs> Go. Right, off we go. Might be one of our longer episodes actually, huh? Didn't realize this is a very long route. Now we're a bit late. I think we'll be tagged as late here. Because of that traffic. Look at that guy, taking selfies and everything. Yeah. Dang it. I hope this doesn't cascade to the other bus stops. <clears throat> we good. Alright. Fair dodgers. Not working. Please give way, thank you. And this is why I'm not a fan of highly populated cities like this. <clears throat> it will get even worse. It will get even worse. So we must prepare. you fix the AI here? Kind of. Yeah, they kind of stop, but you have to like squeeze yourself in. You don't exactly give way in that instance. Punch it, Chewy. We do have a minute left though. Okay, let's grab a bite to eat. I 
think that's not enough time to be honest. So let's go as fast as we can. So that, that might not take too long. That might not be too bad because yeah, the next bus stop is here already. I remember there is a pothole here somewhere. Oh, maybe not. Maybe on this next one. I remember it's right before the intersection. This one. Yeah, that one. There we go. Avoided it easily. <laughs> Sometimes you have to memorize these things. Thank you. Yeah, that's fine. We have enough time. The windmills are moving now. I remember they were not moving before. Maybe there was just not enough wind before. Maybe it's different each time. Perfect. Anyone riding? No one? Oh, really? Okay. Really? Should I have waited for folks? I'm not sure. We will see if someone complains. No one complained. Okay, good. Normally, I would look at the passenger's view there, the passenger mirror, but the mirrors on this bus is not, are not perfect. Look, the right side mirror there, yeah, you can't really see much of it, and here it's a bit too low, so you can't really see the entirety of the bus. It's a bit bad. Okay, we can make it work. We can look from the outside, just change the camera. Oh, these ones, yeah, look at these, these wind turbines. These are not moving. It's very weird when they're perfectly still like that. Is it this one? Yes. There we go. Thank you. Are you sure you guys have tickets? Are you sure? Yeah, okay. No dodgers. Let's go. Thank you. Off we go. Ah, I love this. Just chilling. Enjoying the drive in the city. I'm pretty excited to unlock the other areas though, to unlock Old Town finally. I have never unlocked the Old Town with any of my profiles yet. Maybe we can do that here together. Hey, how are you? speed up. Man, this is one of the most beautiful views in this game, in this map, I think. This view overlooking the mountain and with the bridge. Ah, oh, crap. Hit the bridge with the, yeah, with the train there. Oh, that is beautiful. Yeah, and perfect timing as well. Let me take a photo. Time it out. Don't be a scenic though. Dang it, the view was too amazing. I actually didn't see the pothole. He shot right into it. I remember when I was still learning how to drive. My driving instructor would tease me. Like, are you doing that on purpose? Like, are you steering into the pothole? <laughs> Which I didn't. But when you're driving, when you're learning how to drive in the beginning, you don't have enough concentration to... Whoa, bro! He was uh, indicating right and then he went straight and turned left. Bit confusing. Let's move here. Yeah, when you're just starting to drive, it takes your full concentration just to 
balance the gas, the clutch, make sure your engine doesn't die, make sure you're moving, make sure, make sure you're not hitting anybody, anything on the side, in front. And the pothole, the pothole is just a minor annoyance compared to everything else. So that's the least of your concerns. So in the beginning, potholes are not a thing for me. I would just go through them because I didn't have enough capacity to avoid them anymore. That's just... I'm at my limits, so to speak. Ooh, do we need a wheelchair? I think we do. Let's uh, enable the parking brake. Uh, put down the ramp. After 5,000 episodes, Winter of Passion is still going strong. Look at that perfect positioning. That ramp is perfectly on that curb. That was pretty lucky for me. Although, I don't think the guy in the wheelchair is coming in. He might be, might have been waiting for a different bus. Good. Yeah, I don't think he came in. Alright, that's fine. Bring that up. And we are good to go. Let me double check. Any fair dodgers? Nope, we're good. I was thinking we could get 5 stars here, but because of that pothole thing, maybe we won't get 5 stars anymore. And pretty lucky with the stops. What do you think about heading to the beach, Joe? I'm off work before, huh? That sounds like a nice idea, but I'll have to see if I still fit into my swimsuit. Swimsuit. Why not? Oh, look, twins. <laughs> Good. Oops. My bad. And this is the last stop, I believe. We should be home free after this one. Did I beat the red light? No, I think they did they let me go. Phew! I thought I was going to get a penalty. Main station. We are here, guys. Oh, it's not at the last stop. Yeah, I remember we had two stops over there. Dr. Julius Machner Street. We good? Getting a dog. Yeah. Really? How so? <laughs> well, I imagine it would be awesome. And we group up with these guys who are all turning left. Well, they're not all turning left, are they? This guy in front of us is just going straight. He just got on the wrong lane, looks like. There we go. Some people are waiting for minutes to get on to until the next bus stop only. Just one bus stop. <laughs> Maybe it's hot. Okay. Let's see if we have any fair dodgers. Last minute. Last minute fair dodgers. Thank you. Right there. Door seems to be blocked, and we have a fair dodger indeed. We have a fair dodger indeed. If you look, yeah, we have one. One bus stop, and you're not going to pay. Of course. Here you go. The nerve. Oh, oh no, I lost oh, it. Shame on you, tutorial what? lady. Oh, here you go. Tutorial lady actually tried to. Get away without a ticket. Shame. Shame. Right. Let's close the door. Alright, there we go. 
That's a good one. We actually caught all the fair dodgers. Extra income. And I would guess that's a bit of extra points for us. Thank you. Frame rate is a bit smoother in here. It's nice. Maybe the number of passengers uh, lessened. Sure to buy a ticket next time, lady. Or was that you? I don't know. You guys look alike. Just clean up the bus. Very good. Let's go and check. Maybe we missed anything. Let's lock these. Make sure no one gets in. And I think we are good. Let's go back to the garage and finish the trip. Awesome. Do we want to go a different route? Let's go on a trip. Let's go on a bit of a different route. Let's go via this point. And the GPS should be smart enough to adjust. Yep, yeah, it is. Awesome. Amazing. Hopefully that's enough to trigger a, a level up in the bus stop. We'll uh, check it out later. Very nice housing in here. This this look like this looks like a a housing area. Lots of bike slots as well. It's nice to see when a city supports bikes so much. Supports healthy living, reducing like, carbon emissions, well emissions, all kinds of emissions, and encouraging exercise. Very nice. Oop. Pothole alert. Yeah, nowadays I can avoid them a bit, but I'm still not the best at avoiding potholes in my life. I'd rather just wing it. By the way, yesterday I found this tweet. So I was browsing through Twitter and I saw this tweet. <laughs> really cracked me up. Apparently there was this, uh, I don't know, couple or friend, uh, two friends arguing which is the right expression. Is it play it by ear or play it by year? <laughs> I was just, and I was just like, for real? Is this even a real question? Is this even a real argument? Oh my goodness. Play it by year, year after year. <laughs> uh, to be fair, they do sound alike, but <laughs> really cracked me up when I saw it. Goodness. The things you find in Twitter and social media in general, all the memes. And uh, I'm one of those guys who are always the last to get wind of something. So I'm not really the, the, the most updated guy, but <laughs> I still see some stuff from time to time. Yeah, from time to time. Can we move here? Can't see any car. Because my side mirror is busted. Well, wrongly aligned. That's fine. I can actually go through some side roads as well. A little bit of sneak peek in the old town. But that might make things a bit more complicated, but that's fine. A little bit of uh, variation. Oops, that's one way. My bad. That's one way. Oh my goodness. This place reminds me so much of a city in the Philippines called Makati. It, uh, it was, kind of still is, not so much anymore, the central business district. And it's filled with one-way roads, man. A lot of people have lost a lot of money in there, paying penalties, paying fines because it's so hard to determine which road is one way, which one is not. And it changes every couple of months because they're experimenting on traffic schemes. 
So they would have these announcements, but of course, not everyone would get wind of these announcements. And so someone would not get the notice and would drive into a one-way street, getting the penalty, getting their license confiscated for a time, things like that. It's such a hassle. And yeah, it looks like when we get to Old Town, that will be the scenario, so it will be nice. It will be pretty challenging. To say the least. Okay, this is our stop. Supposedly. Garage is somewhere over there. I wish the garages are uh, also in the map. Because right now if you look, it's like you're going to nowhere. I wish there was like an icon in there so you can pick which one you went to. Although the GPS does seem like it's smart enough to know which is the uh, nearest one. It's not too bad, but it would be nice to have options at least. Especially if you're sightseeing, going through some easter eggs and stuff. Where's the thing? There it is. Why is the arrow not there? Oh crap. Hmm bit of a tight squeeze. I think we have to do some evasive maneuvers. Let's circle around here. I know. Not usually what you do. And I think we might hit somebody here. Oh no. This is not good. These uh out of the norm maneuvers are what gets you into accidents. <laughs> we should have just waited. Look, there are no more cars in there. And there's a pedestrian. Crap. Now we can make it. We can clear it before the pedestrian comes up. There we go. He's open. Thank you. We good? I think we're good. Alright, it ended well, so I'm happy with that. Good, let's close the lights. Close that window. Open the door. Ah, job well done. There we go. Let's close that door. Let's see. Bus stops. Yeah, all of them level 3. Nice. Even reached level 4. It's amazing. Oh! A new bus, etc. And look at that. So close. 4 and 3 fourths. 4 and 4 fifths. I don't know. But that is so close, man. If I missed... If I wasn't late, we could have gotten that 5 stars. Oh well. We still got 26k, so... It's not too bad. Yeah, we're beating ourselves. We're uh, increasing our income more and more. All right, we finished that. Then up, it's up to the next one. Maybe I'll do this offline. I'll level up some of the buses which are not yet level three. If you look at that, it will highlight all the buses that are level two. It's mainly this route. So I, maybe I just have to drive this route one more time. Everything else has been leveled up and that should unlock the old town after we're done with this so by next episode i think we finish this and then we will unlock old town or whatever the next area is anyway that's going to be it for now guys thank you for watching look at all that money nice saving a bit more and then we should get be able to get a another bus thank you for watching if you did like this video please don't forget to hit the thumbs up button comment share with your friends and if you do want to support me directly please check out my patreon page over at the video description there's a link to it to my patreon anyway thank you for watching have a nice one catch you in the next episode bye bye